Hello and welcome back to the weekend briefing. We are here to try and find you some winners and give you a few insights. I've got Daryl and I've got Ryan back with me. We are talking about all things racing for this weekend. It's the Irish Guineas this weekend um, amongst plenty of other flat racing and a little bit of jump sprinkled in there that I'm sure Ryan will find us a tip for. Um, let's go straight over to Daryl. Um, what insights have you got for us this weekend, Daryl? I thought for sure you was going to say no hat this week. <laughs> yeah, was how, can you away with that, that? how can you let him away with that the, hat, <laughs> the hat's nowhere to be seen oh we, we can't find that good often hat <laughs> oh, i promise you i apologize but this week we've got the we've got the irish 2000 guineas at the current 340 um i was going to say it's a cracking race but i think it's a little bit of a below par renewal this year uh ada o'brien has won this 11 times but not since 2017 since 2017 in those last five years he's had 18 runners in it representing 33% of the runners in the last five years, and he's not managed to win. I don't think he's going to do it this year either. I think Royal Scotsman's got a massive chance. I thought he ran a, a cracking race in the English 2000 guineas. Very keen early on. Was one of the only horses to come from off the pace that day. It was very testing conditions. He just needs to settle a little bit better. But uh, I think back to a sounder surface for him, I think could see him go really well. Uh, Ryan Moore, our Betfair ambassador, is on Paddington. That's the horse he's chose. He's a progressive horse, but his form is not up to the level of that of Royal Scotsman and High Royale. Um, High Royale, I can see drifting a little bit in the market. But I think Royal Scotsman is the one to beat in this. And I think there's an argument to say that he should be shorter than his current nine to four on the Betfair Sportsbook. Let's hope you won't be eating your hat next weekend and that you've got it right. Had to get a hat pun in there somewhere. For those that don't know and weren't watching last weekend, we had a bit of a hat swap over as Daryl was very much team Godolphin, but unfortunately it didn't come to anything. But anyway, let's move swiftly over to Ryan. Thank you very much for that insight, Daryl. Um, before we do so, just a reminder to everyone that our multiples offer is running this weekend. It's a £10 free bet when you bet £10 on horse racing multiples, and that's running on the Betfair Sportsbook. So take a little look at that. Ryan, what's been going on in the trading room and what market movers have we seen? Yeah, so there's 10 ITV races this Saturday, Lauren. So we're, we were expecting plenty of move, uh, movement in the market during the week, but it didn't really come that way. Uh, there's a couple, though, still that were back during the week. And the Sandy Lane Stakes got paid off at 3 o'clock on Saturday. Little Big Bear was 5-2 to two earlier in the week. He's now into 15 to 8. Obviously, Frankie Dettori takes the ride on him. He's dropping back in trip, having run in the Guineas over a mile. He was weak in the betting late on in the Guineas. Uh, got to do with the ground, I'd imagine. It's better ground on Saturday, so he should put, uh, put up a... An improved showing, and then in the 2000 guineas, the Irish 2000 guineas at 340. Daryl mentioned Royal Scotsman, he was 11 to 4 during the week, he's now into 9 to 4. Daryl thinks it could get shorter, maybe he will. Um, it looks an open Irish 2000 guineas this year, though, it must be said. Uh, but at the moment, Royal Scotsman heads the market in that. So, they're the two horses that have been popular heading into the weekend, Lauren. Okay, lovely, thank you very much. Right, boys, let's get on to your naps for the weekend. Daryl, I will come to you first, see if you've got a hat to pop on, and, and let us know who you're going to be backing for this weekend. No hat. I'm going to keep it nice and sweet this week. It's going to be Royal Scotsman in the Irish 2000 Guineas at the 340 at the Curra. Perfect. Ryan? Yeah, sticking with the Curra. I had a quick look at Caramel just to give you an eye. That was jumping in the Caramel. I said, I'll have yes, a little... You did. Be, it'll be rude not to, but Daryl said, that could be cheating, he said. So I moved back to the Curra. We'll go for a 15-runner handicap. I'll try and make it a little bit harder this week. Last week's tip uh, didn't prevail anyway. He dropped away disappointingly uh, in Wexford, but Thinking with the Curra, 450 race, Finnans Bay. Um, Aidan McGuinness reaches for the eye shields in this horse, and if it can help him break away on terms, he must have a big chance. He was on the wrong side of the track in Leopardstown last time. He finished seventh in the end. Um, he, the a jockey has taken off from the yard, has taken off five pounds on Saturday. He runs off 91, so that'll bring him down to 86. I think he's he's definitely a chance off that sort of mark, and hopefully he'd be a big price as well. Okay, so both heading to the Curra for this weekend's tips. Thank you very much. We will see how you get on next week. And next week it is the Derby and the Oaks. So we'll be doing a, a double whammy all in one to preview those two uh, races. And we can't wait. We will catch you all next week. And yeah, best of luck with your betting.